Keys, default, microphone, laser siren, mix. Hello. Hello, can you hear? Can you hear everybody? Yep, no audio. Hold on. Let's let's let the uh, the delay catch up. Hold on. How are we doing? Is that good? Can you hear me? I don't know sign language. I know little bit. I don't know if that's right. My mom knows sign language. Is that right? Can you guys hear me? Hey, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what happens. It's the same mic we always use. Anyway, Steven. Himmon, Himnomancy, BM88, Lavia Lavi, and Sean Cooper. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. This is the Leaf 2. How is it different than the Leaf 1? There's one major difference in that this looks exactly like an eye reader ocean. It, it, <laughs> it is identical to the eye reader ocean in every fascia wise way except very appreciative of onyx let me get out of the way they don't do that hump thing that the eye reader and the um uh the oasis does with that weird bump uh they actually don't do that weird like let's make it really thin by there and then you know we'll just have a hump at the end and why is that the reason is is because they have more stuff they have where is it an SD card slot on the side. They have stereo speakers. They have physical page turn buttons on board. They have um, too many things that they couldn't allocate to the left sixth of the device, like an Oasis does. On Oasis, they would just have this little chunk right there that has all the circuitry, and the rest is just the EPD and a little bit of housing. They couldn't do that on the Onyx. So not only is it a design choice that they chose, it's also out of necessity because they couldn't afford to lose five-sixths of the workable area on the unit. So they couldn't allocate everything to one side. That's why they did that. This is being billed as Onyx's first ebook reader. You might say the Poke has existed for some time and then the Poke 4. Technically, those are tablets. This one is being billed as an e-reader. Is it an e-reader? Anything can be an e-reader. My, my Sony home remote can be an e-reader. I think I have some books on here. I'm not even joking. Let's see. Yeah, I got some manga on here. Let's look at this. All right, everyone, let's look at the Sony. I got some manga on here. I got e-books. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with an e-ink screen <clears throat> can be an e-book reader. So that's not what they're saying. They're saying that this is billed as one. It's capable. It has Google Play. You can download any uh, e-book reading app you want. It has physical page turn buttons, which is the most important thing on this. You might actually say the most important thing would be the SD card slot because what is Onyx doing with an SD card slot? Can you just take a step back and think about what devices have an SD card? None of the Novas did. None of the um, the Poke didn't. The Note Air didn't. It's it's crazy how I'm gonna move my thing here, so hopefully get some better uh, uh, better reception there. Sorry, there was a, an issue. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Almost none of the Onyx products had a uh, uh an sd card slot and now they do if you guys want to see it actually we'll just do it right now for you guys on camera because i mean it's 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 monumental how this has it i'm not even i don't want to undersell it this is crazy there it is my lord look at that that's amazing even companies like amazon have never had an sd card except for the, the kindle one had an sd card um, this unit is fully capable, guys. It's not just an ebook reader. As much as they want to say it is to kind of reduce the amount of overlap that their company has in the e-reader space, it's not, <clears throat> it's not, uh, it's no slouch. Yeah, the SD, SD card is, is, cannot be understated. Now this rail, I'll get back to this. The first generation looked like that. In fact, it had a, um, a peripheral case that allowed you to attach via the rail magnetic snap physical page turn buttons. Well, now they just got rid of that and they're like, let's just put it on the unit. It's like, oh, wow, okay, well, that's great. A lot of you guys might be saying, why do we need physical page turn buttons? I mean, almost nobody does it anymore. As we said in, oh yeah, wait, sorry. We filmed the review. The guys aren't done editing it yet. Anyways, as we will have said in the review, 
it's not about that. It's not about like, I can just touch it. We don't need that. It's not about that. It's about having the option. It's about having this tactile familiarity and just the ease of keeping your hands away from it and being as engaged as possible. There, it's not studies shown, or I'm, I'm sure there, there are in some part of the world, but if you were to go like this and go like this, you are more interrupted. You know, if we're splitting hairs here, you're more interrupted swiping, going over the screen to change things than you are just like this. Look at that. You can't even see me move. So there is more attention required to take you away from the book to change pages on something that doesn't have physical page trim buttons. It, it, it's... Yeah. You might say, you know, oh, that's not a big thing. Well, you know, if you're here listening to us, it's, it is a thing. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. If you go into the settings, you will notice that actually the leaf has one setting that no other Onyx has. That side key settings. You won't see that on any other Onyx because you don't need to. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's acting up today. We have short press function which is just the short press so boom boom you can choose it to be volume button and why would you want to choose it to not be page turns well if you're watching something like i don't know tiktok or youtube shorts or something like that you would want to maybe have it in your hand like this and yes you can watch youtube shorts on this it's very capable of video uh it has x mode and all that we'll show you in a sec you can maybe you want to prioritize the audio so you're like oh it's too loud sorry do 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 like that. You don't need to turn pages on YouTube shorts. You know, when one finishes, it scrolls up to the next one or Instagram stories or whatever the heck you want to watch. So to consume your media. So it's nice that that's there. You also have long press so you can turn that on or off and you can choose what you want the long press to do. Isn't that insane? Look at all that. Look at all the things you can choose for the long press. If I choose it to be a full refresh on the button up and I choose that on, look. Now it's going to full refresh. That is a level of customization that Onyx has never seen before. Unprecedented. That's amazing. MZ, I'm watching a remarkable ad that played before your video right now while I'm typing. <laughs> There's a remarkable ad that played on our channel. That's awesome. Keep watching ads, guys. That's how we make money. It's absolutely true. It's not something that... It's not an elephant in the room situation. That's that's how we how we pr proceed as a company. Can you show the case? There's a case. Is there a case? No one sent me a case. Do we have a case? Hold on. Miki. Okay, hold on. <laughs> how about you guys stare at the screen for six seconds while I run into the office and see if it's there. <laughs> Just absorb what you see here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Is there a case? Did they send us a case? Use it for the leaf. Yeah, I'm doing a live right now. Someone said there's a case. I want to see that. Thanks, Kev. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. Um, I didn't know there was a case. Kevin came in uh, to work uh, a little early today, and he's like, yeah, there's a case, man. I'm like, oh, I didn't know there's a case. So there's a case, everybody. Why would there be a case? I don't actually know. This is going to be fun because I don't know what it's going to have. It's really light, so it doesn't have a magnet snap with a rail on it. It should just have... Yeah, MZ, sorry. There's some birds. Uh... Well, which is good. I mean... Why would you not want nature around? I love nature, even in the city. So, nature's important, man. Plant some trees, listen to some birds. Don't uh, don't turn everything into a concrete jungle, you know? Gotta have nature. Uh, let's see. I, I genuinely do not know what the leaf... This is the Leaf 2 case. Who said that? O said that. Okay, you're right, O. Why would it have a case? Marcello! Marcello San... Tilian. I don't know. I'm Italian, but I don't speak it and I don't observe any of the culture. Wow, look at this. All right. Hey, everybody, there's a case. And it looks like one of those, potent, you know, little bit entry level origami cases. It's not exactly divided into thirds. As you can see, it's like 30%, 40%, and then the scraps. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Uh, as Aristo, yes, it does. Um, with the Kindle app, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on a tablet, you actually can assign 
For example, I could assign my volume buttons on my Xperia to be page turns. So yes, 100% it works. Look at this, everybody. It's got a case. Thank you, O dot dot dot, who just stopped by for the live to tell us this has a case. Wow. I mean, obviously they sell peripherals. I didn't know we had a case. And the last case, oh cool, there you go. The last case was of course the case that had the rail on it. And obviously you see that there is an indentation here in the soft touch kind of, uh, it's a little bit of a fleece liner kind of thing as to not um, harm the device. Does it have sleep? Let's see. Let's let it go to sleep. Everyone quiet, it needs to go to sleep. It needs its rest. Oh, it does have sleep. And then it wakes up. Nice. Okay, well, this is great. Marcello. Oh, sorry, man. Um, I assumed that was a uh, Italian name. I guess the Italian one has two L's in it. Well, hello from Argentina. The T Noc Nyavo. Um, good. It's a good device. I'm waiting for the white edition. Oh, okay. The or T uh, just pointed out something very, very important. We asked for the white one as well. They sent us a bunch of stuff. Um, it's coming. The white one is different. Now, the, I don't want to understate this because it's a big thing. This is the first time in the history of ebook readers that a single device has been released not only in two colors, in two build forms. I, take my word for it. The only exception would be maybe the uh, Poke 3 had a flush screen and bezel. And the Poke 4 has a sunken thing. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's ever happened, guys. So what I mean by that is that not one device has multiple colors. We've seen that a lot. The Oasis 3 had the rose gold with the gunmetal. Uh, you know, Kindles have always had black and white. Uh, sometimes now they have the blue denim. Uh, Kobo's had some color changes between, like, the Libra. They had white and black, etc. Uh, Dasung now has, like, a bunch of colors of their A4. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this one is a... Come on, give me some light. There you go. No. Where's the light? I mean, I know... Oh, see, there's that anti -gl It's that much anti-glare. I can't even find a freaking light. There we go. Got it. Oh, I'm looking at the camera. I shouldn't do that. There we go. Got it. Okay. This one is flush screen and bezel, everybody. Flush screen and bezel. The white one of the same device, Leaf 2, Bionix, is a sunken screen and bezel. I don't want to drop my mic. Okay, metaphorical mic drop. Why is that important? Because, no joke... When you make an ebook reader, you have physical things you put in the stack like that. That that's a real thing. So, with this unit, they have to put a piece of glass, and with that, of another layer of factory sealant to bake on there. There are two extra layers of physical stuff on top of this that is not on top of the white one. And that does change things. You will see right here. There is a distinct shadow on the side. And a lot of you, uh, there was a couple comments that say, oh, the, the sunken screen has a shadow because of the raised bezel. Yeah, but that's not, that's not the point. It's not about the shadow. It's what the shadow represents. The shadow represents that there is a distinct gap between the top of the glass and the screen. Now, that little shadow aside from the light on the white one would not have that. Because you would be closer to the actual contactable, interactable surface on the white one than you would on the black one. And that's a real thing. We are very excited about that. Again, you guys might be saying, so what's an e-reader? Just, you know, use Kindle and be quiet. No, well, that's, we, our job, our entire industry and our job and why everyone's working next door and in, in our American office, in our Canada office, in our Hong Kong office, in our China office is to come together and report and nitpick and be overly critical about e-paper and e-readers. So in our industry, this is big. In the grand scheme of things, well, no, because, you know, the... <laughs> If you, if you zoom out of, you know, the solar system, we're uh, the smallest little grain of sand in, like, a, the ocean. So it means nothing. But in our industry, it means a lot because the white version to be different than the black has never happened. Other, of course, than the color body itself. That's never happened before. You mark my words. What do we have here? Simon, man. Simon. Simon Gordon, we love you. 
you talk about uh, we we actually uh, yeah, your name is something of a uh, 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 a water cooler conversation around the office. You're very vocal on the lives and the comments and otherwise, but uh, you always ask about the thing we're not doing. <laughs> we love you, man. You're cool, but yeah, like you're talking about the galley. We're gonna get into that in one sec because we did release a little thing about it yesterday. Uh, Lavia, Lavia, are the edges sharp? Let's look at it. You know what, Lavia? The edges are sharp on the Ultra. Oh my gosh, you could cut a block of cheese with the Ultra. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, the thing about the Onyx cases is that, yeah, they're 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 not silicone snap. They're hard plastic snap. So if you're not careful, you'd actually peel the the faux leather away from the actual rigidity of the plastic. Uh, I'm not even sure of an easy way to open this. I know he's just like, you see, I pulled that. He flex it a little bit. Do I get under there? Okay, there. Oh, it's a twisting motion. All right. So we figured that out. I'm going to put this back in. And uh, I'll do giveaway or something since we open this up. Somebody want this? <laughs> it's not that easy, guys. You got to work for it. You got to work for it to some degree. Just give me 15 minutes while I alcohol this. Put it back. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do that after. All right. What do we got here? Bonus feature. Uh, yes. Are the edges sharp? Now, on the leaf, the edges are not that sharp. It's not, it's not rounded. It's quite square. In fact, it is indicative of, say, my Xperia. You can see, get them in the middle here, that they're about the same level of squaredness. And Xperia's, if you don't know, are notorious for being a very square phone, uh, Aside from one or two of the generations. For the most part, they're very blocky and square. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's quite square. Um, does it hurt your hand to have it jut into your hand? You know, there are some manufacturers, <clears throat> like Pocketbook, that... that purposely curve the edges so that it doesn't dig into your hand this one kind of does it's not gonna be the be all end all decision of uh you know whether you're gonna buy it or not because typically you're gonna hold it on the side here because it's rather big six inches seem to rest in your hand a little bit more this one's more on the side because you it's so light and you just go boop 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 you can interact with it like that so um yeah that's kind of what's going on there uh, what do we have here? Rob Hernandez. Yeah, he said uh, bonus feature. MZ, what's up with the little rabbit? Yeah, you know what? I don't know because um, there's a rabbit on this one. And oh no, I was going to say that. There's the, uh, when you start up the Nova Air, he always shows up first. This guy, he's like a swan. And when you power it on, he starts to roller skate away. It's kind of funny. I don't know what's up with that. Um, Onyx has been doing a, a little bit of an overhaul with their, not their brand, but like their branding. For example, they've gotten rid of that orange stripe. Remember that orange stripe they had on everything that went like that? They got rid of that. Uh, although they still have it on the Ultra box, it's absent from the actual Ultra construction. I don't know why, because it was so prevalent on all the air things. Then they started moving it. I think they ran out of paint. No joke. Because there was one time where they so ran out of black, they had to concoct a blackish green that confused the industry. Again, you know, it's our industry, but... Everyone's like, why is it blackish green? Don't you mean black? And it's like, no, we had to put green in there. And they never gave us an exact answer why, but I believe there was some manufacturing issues with the fact that they didn't have black. It was really weird. Anyways, um, what do we got here? Onyx's mascot. I love mascot. Tolino mascot. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do have... Uh, yeah, R Rakuten does use the panda mascot. He's on TV. He's bouncing around and stuff like that. Oh, watch. I'm going to show you guys my Rakuten credit card with the number blocked out, of course. This is my Rakuten credit card. And yeah, he has the... There's the little pandas. Oh, he got some numbers. You guys want to buy some sushi with my credit card? There it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it could be mascot. But um, you know what else they did was kind of weird? This is the first time they released a case that had two colors. And it was um, the gray or the meow. And we're like... What's the meow? And it's it was kind of stupid when we heard it, but when we landed it, it was like, oh, wow, this is a really nice case. It was this beautiful... Where did I put the leaf? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it blended in with my background. It was this very nice, like, tapestry of, like, a cat and, like, a rising sun and, like, a mountain range. It was kind of cool. So um, I think it's just them trying new things, which is never bad. There's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, yeah, it's... Um, it, it's just nice that they're doing that. Yeah, for sure. Are the buttons tactile? Like, they work with any portion of the button you press oh that's a good idea that's a good that's a good one sorry i move my keyboard 
Like a space button, you mean? Yeah, let's see. So if I'm going to press it here. Okay, well, La Via, it doesn't work on like the 1% of the extreme edge. There you go. No, you're right. Uh, they're... Okay, so they're centrally biased, so they'll they'll go in like that. They'll go in like that, but they won't go down like that. And in order to do that, you got to press about a third of the way in. And if you go away from it, it won't go down. So, yeah. Oh, man, Steven. Steven. The CZUR, we took that video down. A lot of people say, like, you know, oh, Goody Reader gets paid to do a video. And we've never gotten paid to do a video. Never. We've never gotten out of 3,000... I've confirmed with our YouTube department. I still very much, you know, I'm very involved in the YouTube department. Um, we don't get paid to do videos. Uh, we don't get uh, promotions. We don't do in-video role promotions. And a lot of people were saying like, oh, you got paid to do that. I was like, no, and no more evident than the CZUR. CZUR was so angry that we did an honest review of their product after doing our due diligence to get it working and set it up and spend a day and a half with several crew members of ours to strike the set and make new sets and change the lights and stuff like that, uh, that they told us to take it down. And we're like, we're not in an agreement with you guys. You know, if we're in an agreement with you guys, we will obviously follow it to the T. If we're in distribution agreements, if you want us to like, you know, showcase your product, you know, using this brand new software or this, but like, no, they're just like, can you review it? Like, we're going to review it as journalists. And we did, and they were so PO'd that we took the video down, just out of professional courtesy. So <laughs> the video's not going back up anytime soon, and it took a great deal of time to make that. And it was very cumbersome, and it required someone to be at a computer and then show me, and then I hopped in and I did it. And then it was, uh, yeah, it was it was a big thing, honestly. Uh, probably easier to reach the buttons with one finger than lifting it. Yeah, um, Lavia, it, it's... If you're nitpicking and you're going, hey, it doesn't work on the outside millimeter when I push it, it's you're never gonna miss the buttons. Never. Doesn't matter where you just casually push, push, you're not gonna like miss the hitbox, you know what I mean? It's it's not that like precise. So uh, what else do we got here? We got some people asking some questiones. Oh, Simon, I'm gonna hit you up real quick because we got a lull in the comments here. The galley. Couple questions people have. Is the galley real? Yes, absolutely it is. It is a collaboration between us and Big Me. We design with Big Me to release it. We did it on the ink note color and we're doing it on the galley. Is the galley real in and of itself? Absolutely. We saw it live actually on a trade show. We wrote on it. We did some swipes on it. Granted, that prototype by Sharp wasn't exactly the most refined piece, but it is real. And Sharp is going to make one, 100%. Uh, Cisco Terrace is the white one available. If you haven't watched this yet, Cisco, about this, not the galley, the white one is actually different than this one. It has a sunken screen and bezel. This one is a flush screen and bezel. The white one is coming soon. And because it is so different, we have to unbox it and review it separately as both recommended by us to Onyx and approved and kind of... Uh, agreed upon by Onyx. They're like, yeah, you know what? It's different enough that uh, uh, it makes sense for you to do it um, separately. O Onyx never sent us the white because they were like, why do you need both? And we explained to them very clearly. We're like, look, sunken screen and bezels versus flush screen and bezels is a topic of discussion that dates back to the dinosaurs. And when like, you know, the, the man invented the wheel, they invented flush screen and bezel and sunken screen and bezel. When the pyramids were going up, they were deciding, well, what should we do our schematics on? It's very important in our industry. So we feel that like we needed that. So they, they, they sent us one after the batch that we just received all the review samples of. So um, it's coming soon. It's going to be landed and we'll have the white one. Simon, yes, the galley is coming soon. That was the first look of the actual galley. The first time we did a video was the uh, concept art. It was the concept art because we have to make a concept. This one is a tooled completed prototype. It's We had someone... Hold it and swipe and do everything. Is the refresh slower than regular e-ink? Yes. If the refresh wasn't as slow as e-ink, e-ink traditional Kaleido and Carta wouldn't exist anymore. Everyone would use galley, a gallery. So 
there's things to work on and yes you can boost things with software and yes we're going to change things as the days progress we are uh working with big me to get a prototype that we are allowed to have in studio that we are going to film on that i will throw over to the guys and they will work their absolute magic because they are very good at producing content and videos and it looks better than anything i used to do if you looked at our stuff 2018 and before that's when i was doing the videos I'm not good at that. <laughs> I was, I didn't know how to do the camera work and stuff. And then we, uh, over the years, we started off, uh, opening up new offices and hiring people in studio time and stuff. And everyone's like, no, you don't do it like that. You do it like this. I'm like, ah, you're teaching me how to make French toast when I've just been like making Eggo waffles. Okay, this is good. Yeah, so um, I don't do the videos anymore. A lot of you guys comment on YouTube and say, good job, Peter. That wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm there talking, but I get it scripted and you know i use my knowledge to quickly spew things out the production's all done by the team that's not i'm not that's not me man um so yeah you guys are fantastic it's been our 30 minutes if you have any questions on the leaf leave them down below we have an unboxing up right now we are going to be working on the review they're on the computers right now i think yeah they got the sd card that we were working on and they're going to be doing the review of the leaf too um we got the review of the leaf 2 finished and yesterday i did audio for the uh la 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 uh nova air 2 the names are so similar i have to think about what i'm going to say we're not going to get around to the ultra yet because the ultra is so extensive it's going to be a fat video it's gonna be a big video on that i think the unboxing was like six minutes uh la via la via, how's the ghosting on standard speed well let's look at that before we wrap up then so here we go. We go down here and we show all this in the review. Don't worry, guys. You go to the ink center and you go normal speed. So this is normal. I'm just going to do some stuff. I'm going to go over to storage. I'm going to go over to a book. You, this is the live refresh. Not doing anything here. Okay, I'm done with this book. This book sucks. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go back. Okay, what do I want to do now? I want to go to the settings. La, 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 tra, la, la. This is the normal refresh. And I'll show you guys real quick. And again, we'll go into it in the review. Here, oh, here's X mode with light color cut and reduced dark enhancement, AKA the fastest thing on planet earth. All right, look at this. Boom, bang, accounts, go back, go over here to library, go over to storage, click on music. Okay, I don't like that. Let's go back here. Let's go to documents, open up a PDF. Look how fast that is. Aside from that load screen, look how fast that is, guys. Look at that. Come on. I know you guys are saying, oh, you just buy an iPad. It's not the point, guys. That's fast. For an ebook freaking reader, that is astronomically quick. Look at what this is doing. Look at that. Enough said. That's fast. Come on, man. Is it better than a Kobo Libra 2? You know what, Shahak? Sahak? The Onyx. Just a sec. Yeah. The Onyx is better than a Kobo Libra 2 in every single possible way other than the Kobo Libra being waterproof there's nothing the Kobo Libra can do that this doesn't do the Onyx does every single thing we're not again we're not paid by Onyx to say this we say everything about everything Th this has everything it has Google Play the Kobo doesn't this has a warm light Kobo has got a warm light Th this has physical pastry buttons Kobo's got physical pastry buttons this has expandable storage Kobo doesn't this has onboard blue uh, this has onboard bluetooth with stereo speakers built in kobo doesn't this could download the kobo app kobo has the kobo app <laughs> i mean there's nothing else i have to say and i'm not advocating that kobo is a worse company than onyx no kobo is a significantly bigger company in terms of the uh uh the sales volume the international reach they are one of the big three onyx isn't they're not one of the big three in fact, Onyx is actually spread a little thin into two divisions, Onyx and Onyx Books International. So, no, the Onyx is way better than the Kobo Libra 2. Significantly better in every way. Specs on paper, th this has four speed modes with contrast change and light color filters. Uh, Kobo doesn't have anything near that. So, sorry, but it's true. It's absolutely true. Uh, what do we say here? Xilion, Kindle app. This has Android 11 with Google Play. You have the latest possible version of Android in the entire planet on ePaper. And you have Google Play, which has millions of applications. Yes, you can download Asphalt if you want. 
It has everything, every single thing. Every app you want to question whether you can download, it works on here. Uh, the only thing you can't do is like take pictures, which you can do on the Ultra because it's got a freaking camera on it. Man, uh, what do we got here? Rod Hernandez says, nice. And he says, I'm glad I was able to catch the show today. Yeah, you always watch it from like school or something, right, Rod? Lavia Lavi, you guys are just posting questions now. That's fine. That's fine, Lavia. That's why we're partially here for. If you guys don't want to see the feature subject of whatever we do on the lives, you don't have to. You don't have to ask questions about this. Look at freaking Simon here, man. He's always asking about like big me stuff, which is cool. Uh, Sean Cooper, Carta 1200 screen. Off my top of my head, I don't... Hold on. <laughs> oh, technical difficulties. Onyx Leaf 2, Carta 1200. I don't want to say yes or no yet. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Because a lot of devices have been coming out and some have Carta 1200. Some have Carta 1250. Some have no Carta. And it's like, oh, wait. Okay, wait. Just a sec. Got to make sure I know exactly out of these 85 things I've reviewed this year, which one has what spec. So I always like to do my... um uh you know, research first. So this device is the best reader on the world. Zaliant, there's nothing that devices like MeBook and and um, uh, Old Boy You Stuff and High Read and Big Me and Onyx, there's nothing they can't do compared to the big three. Because you can download the Amazon Kindle app on here and have the ability to watch YouTube with audio, Go on Facebook, send your emails, log into Gmail, uh, uh, attach photos that you've hand-drawn on note-taking slates, sign documents and send them back over via Gmail and Outlook and OneNote, makes it to the point that, yes, it's significantly better than ebook readers because this replaces every facet of an ebook reader not just onyx i'm talking about tablets with e-paper screens high read has two color units that replace anything that it, anything could come near to it me book has replaced e-readers big me doesn't even make e-readers because there's no point because a tablet with an e-paper screen kills an e-reader it does if you want simplicity and typically a lower price point, you go with an e-reader. They're, they're better, and they come from companies that traditionally have better warranties. If you buy through us, yes, just so happens Goody Reader is an international company with an English-speaking uh, slash multi-language speaking staff that can facilitate warranties for you. But when you buy through Rakuten, when you buy through Kobo, when you buy through Amazon, it gets delivered same day. If there's a problem, you just return it. You get an update. There's trade-in programs. There's these huge ecosystems of books. So there's many benefits to having just an e-reader. But when you're talking about which is better in terms of specs and usability, a tablet with an e-paper screen is always going to be better then there's going to be people like oh it's too complicated and it's it's too distract it distracts you no it isn't just turn everything off i'm not even i'm not even oversimplifying it if you go here and turn off the wi-fi go into notifications turn all notifications off and turn it on airplane mode this is not gonna bing bang boom it's gonna not gonna have any bells any whistles nothing it's gonna be a blank slate do you have to use a computer to Transfer your documents. You don't need any program. You just plug it in and sideload books. EPUBs. You could go on Google Chrome on here and download books. Can't do that on Amazon because there's no there's no storage file browser. There's no expandable storage for an SD card. You know what I mean? So it's not like we're advocating and saying ebook readers are useless because they're not. They have a lot of good points. But your direct ask of, is this better? Yes, it's going to be better than anything that comes near it. This is nowhere near in the same playing field as an Oasis. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> it's the absolute truth. And let's do a couple more questions. I already wrapped it up, but uh, yeah. Simon. Also ask book stuff. I want to know if the GP2, GPU really makes a notable difference on the screen refresh on the new tab. They said that the new GPU has an ultra fast refresh. I don't know what that means because, I mean, I know what it means. It just means it's fast and more refined. It, it allocates a certain amount of computing power for the refresh, etc. We're going to check it. And we're going to, that's why we can't do the tab refresh right now because it's going to take all of us to sit around a table. Like when you do a table read for acting and you're like, oh, Lois, what are you doing? Oh, Peter. You, you have, we have to do that. We have to sit around and be like, okay, what do you think? Throw it. And then, you know, maybe we have an extra unit. We all kind of check it and 
you know, someone stands up and talks about it. So not quite like 30 people in a boardroom, but to that degree we do. Uh, Zalient, my English is bad, sir. I wasn't doing anything about your language. I was just reading what you wrote. Uh, Rod Hernandez, well, about 90% replace. There are some things that a Kindle device can do that the Kindle app doesn't do. You're correct. You are correct, Rod. And that's why I'm saying it's not 100% a replacement, but it's damn near close. Uh, La Via La Vie is a wireless transfer function via localhost. I saw something. Uh, books drop. Yeah. Books drop is a, um, uh, uh, a proprietary service that they have to transfer files. Yeah. Big bam and boom. Good time to use documents. Yeah, it's true, Jerry. And thanks for stopping by. <sighs> thanks guys. Appreciate all of you. Jerry, La Vie, La Vie, Rod, Zalian, Simon, Lutch, 256 Grayscale. Uh, I don't know. Again, all the, all the devices go through me, man. I don't really know all the specs of everything you know we just did uh we're working on the galley we're working on the r&d of the actual galley so like my brain is fried right now man uh yeah it says 256 uh grayscale as it says i mean don't take my word for it yet we'll uh we'll get into all that uh sahak cisco uh who we got steven prosman of course um da -da -da -do. simon of course mz t uh, Rod Hernandez, thanks for stopping by. Marcelo from Argentina, not uh, Italy. You got Aristo Hadisogenada. Cool, man. Man, I got, you guys got some cool names. We got O, who pointed out the case. Thank you. And I ran next door, and Kevin was very no nice enough to show me that we had a case. Sean Cooper, Harmin Nomasi, and BM88. And that is it for everybody. Thank you so much. You guys are fantastic. La Vie, La Vie. Yes, the review is going to drop today. We're going to give... Um, I think they already did it. They're editing it right now. We're going to do some stuff. I got some stuff to do on the Tab Ultra. I got a... Oh, you read that? Oh, dang it. You read that wrong. I read it wrong. Got my Leaf 2 yesterday. Loving it. Just found the whole screen has a sunken. Yes! See? Everyone listen to you read that wrong. He got the white one. The white one is sunken screen. That's the one I wanted. The black one is fantastic, but I want that sunken screen. I want to compare them. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Till next week. <laughs>